searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Lisa Smith. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A shooting in northern Kentucky leaves one woman dead and two others, including a toddler, injured. Investigators say John C. Gentry shot both Tiffany Kidwell and a three-year-old in the driveway of a home on Winchester Drive in Walton. Kidwell died at the scene. The three-year-old was shot in the abdomen and is expected to survive. A six-year-old was also there but wasn't hurt. Hurt. Deputies say Gentry carjacked and shot another man and nearly hit a deputy while trying to escape. He is now in custody. Kentucky Saturday reported its highest ever number of new coronavirus cases. The Commonwealth saw 1,275 new positive cases. That brings the total since the beginning of the pandemic to 72,001. Governor Andy Bashir says Monday he'll discuss efforts to step up enforcement of the statewide mask mandate. We've got to get back uh, to enforcing uh, these rules because 1,275 cases are going to result in a lot of death too. And here's a snapshot of Ohio's coronavirus update for Saturday. More than 1,100 new cases were reported. That's above average, but the rest of the key metrics, including deaths, were all below average. And Kings Island fans can now say they own a piece of the vortex. The theme park is selling hundreds of pieces of the roller coaster capped with metal plates and mounted in a display stand. Each slice goes for $198.70. The Vortex kits are available for sale in the Emporium on International Street while supplies last through Sunday. Any remaining pieces will be sold online next week. Sherry. Well, we had a nice day Sunday with a high of 66. Today, we'll be seeing some showers. We start out on the dry side here this morning, but late morning into the early afternoon, that's when we start to see a few of those showers, maybe picking up a tenth of an inch to two tenths of an inch of rainfall. Um, and then we're going to be dry for a good stretch of days. Today, though, the Bengals at Paul Brown Stadium taking in the Jaguars. And I do think there's a chance of rain from the time you have kickoff to the time you go home. But I don't think it's going to be a complete washout. Temperatures will be in the lower 60s.